In this video, I'll show you how to size and align your drag and drop objects. Okay, so one of my clients reached out to me this week and they were having some trouble understanding how they can size their drag and drops and align them so that they can still see all the answers and nothing's being blocked by other objects and so on. So I'll take you through the process that I go through when I typically create a basic drag and drop here. So as you can see, I have this already set up on my slide here. Let's just do a quick preview so you can see what we're talking about here. So here's the drag and drop. And of course, as I drag these drag sources over, they cover each other up. I got the correct answer, which is great, but I can't see the original drop target title. And I also don't know the other two drag source items that I've dragged over here. In this example, it's pretty basic, but you get the idea. So how do we fix this? Well, what I like to do is create my drop target to be more of like a title card. So I'll select it and we'll go over to properties here and we'll align the text to be in the top left hand corner. That helps quite a bit. Now the other thing I'll do is I will pick a size for my drop target and if I'm expecting three objects to go into this drop target here, I'm going to plan for it to be a certain size and these to be one third of that size, right? It makes sense to be able to put them side by side like this. So in this case here, let's make this 660 wide. That's fine here. And what that means is that we're going to make these 220 each here. So let's set these to be 220 and 220 and 220. Now they're different heights, but we'll deal with that in a moment here. First one we're going to do, let's select our drop target. Ignore the fact that we are going to have our drag sources over here and our drop target over here for a moment. Let's use the objects themselves for resizing purposes. So select your drop target, select drag source one, and then use your alignment toolbar to help with this. If you don't have your alignment toolbar open already, you can click the window drop down and select align here. So I'm going to select those two objects and use the align left and the align bottom to align drag source one to the bottom of this here. Now I'm also going to resize it because I know I have this much room in the drop target that I can use. So I'm going to resize number two and number three to be that same size. And you can use this resize to the same size icon to do exactly that. So let's select the drop target and drag source two, which presumably would go in the middle. It could go in any order, of course. So I'm going to center those with one another and use the align bottom tool to put it in the right position here. And just again, this is just to make sure at this point that drag source three will fit nicely there and there. So that looks good. How would I want this to look when it's completed? Well, let's make sure the formatting for these objects here are appropriate. So maybe we want them top aligned. Maybe we want them center aligned. I kind of like them center aligned. And let's, uh, let's put a little line break in these as well. So I'm just going to put uh, a line break here. Alternatively, you could put some margin spacing in here to, to force it to go to the other line. But I'm just going to do it here. That looks good to me. So I can randomly place these now in this position here. Now select the drop target and you'll notice the snap behavior. The default is to be in the center of the object. We're going to change this anchor position type to tile because we want them to tile one by one after one another. And because we want to start at the bottom, because these are going to be aligned to the bottom, we're going to choose this position right here. So if I choose that option, we should get the results that we're looking for. 
So let's preview this now in HTML5 and see how it now behaves. Okay, so drag source one, let's drop it in. It snaps to the position where I need it. Drag source two, and then drag source three. And of course now I can read this is the drop target and it contains drag source one, two, and three. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.